can you find the second implicit derivative of this thing? Let's give it a shot. We take ddx of both sides of the equation. ddx of y. So we're taking the derivative with respect to x. So the derivative of x is 1. The derivative of e to the y is just e to the y times y prime. We have to use the chain rule because the variable is y. And we're taking the derivative with respect to x. Right hand side is just y prime. Let's get all the y primes on one side. So that'll be e to the y, y prime, minus y prime equals negative 1. Factor out the y prime. That'll be e to the y minus 1 equals negative 1. And then we can divide. We get y prime equals negative 1 over e to the y minus 1. Factor out the negative 1. That's just 1 over 1 minus e to the y. So that's y prime. Let's go for y double prime. So we have to take the derivative again, ddx of both sides of the equation, ddx. Let's bring this up top, make it simpler to work with. So that'll be 1 minus e to the y to the negative 1 power. And let's see, we get y double prime equals, we have to use the chain rule. So that'll be bring down the negative 1. 1 minus e to the y to the negative 2, that's just the power rule, times the derivative of the inside. Derivative of 1 is 0. Derivative, derivative of negative e to the y is negative e to the y times y prime. We did that earlier, something very similar. And what does this equal? This equals, let's see, that'll be e to the y, y prime over 1 minus e to the y squared. Okay. And now we can use we can use this here. We can plug this in. So let's continue this and let's say that equals we need some room here. So this equals e to the y and then y prime is this. So we can plug that in. 1 over 1 minus e to the y all over 1 minus e to the y squared and that equals final answer is e to the y over 1 minus e to the y cubed all right hope that helps thanks for watching